Elsewhere tonight, it was a big day for Golden Eagles as the Institution for Higher Learning took the next step in selecting a new president at Southern Miss. Yeah, the college board trustees spent their morning at Southern Miss in listening sessions for community students and alumnus. Seven on your side's Elizabeth Goods joins us in the studio with more. Liz? Who will be named the next leader of the Golden Eagles wasn't the only question on everybody's minds this morning at the IHL's listening sessions. That is just one part of the board's search for a new president to replace Dr. Martha Saunders. More than who, the campus and the community made it known what they want in the next leader of USN. Magnificent. Engaging. Innovative. That's just a few traits that USM students are looking for in the next leader of the Golden Eagles. During the State College Board's listening sessions, they asked not only students, but alum and community leaders what they require in the next president. Also weighing in on the sessions were a newly selected 32-member Campus Search Advisory Committee, who took careful notes as each concern was spoken. One of the things that we're finding is that they want a leader who understands all of the stakeholders and to bring the community together, to bring the university together. With so many changes statewide, including 12 president searches within eight years, IHL is aiming for continuity at Southern Miss, especially when the previous three USM presidents stayed no longer than five years. Chair of the Mississippi Senate's Universities and Colleges Committee, John Polk, says it's not the schools, it's a product of the times. That's a lot. There's no doubt about it. But you know, there's a lot of transition everywhere. Any business, any activity you look at, even the medical field, there's a lot of moving around. And the process for picking a president isn't a simple one. The Campus Search Advisory Committee will obtain information from these listening sessions and other input from various entities. That information will then be turned over to the College Board. After review, it will be passed on to the board-selected Parker Executive Search Firm, which will perform a nationwide search for the ideal candidates. While there was some hesitation about the process in the listening sessions, Board Search Committee Chair Robin Robinson assures that it's an efficient process. The process is very transparent. It's been in place for um, eight years now, and it, it is a very good process. At the end of the search, the overall goal of the board isn't to recruit, but to retain. IHL is hoping to have the ideal USM presidential candidate on campus by February 2013. Back to you, Randy and Sherry.